Maynard James Keenan, one of my favorite vocalists of all time, and another huge request from you guys. His is one of the more complex and dynamic voices that I've gotten into. So fun to listen to and fun to sing with. And some of the mindsets, techniques, and perspectives that I'm going to share in this video are based on pretty advanced things. And if you want more help developing your own voice, discovering what it can really do, be sure to click the link below and check out my free vocal course. Also, I'm going to refer to other videos I've done on this channel, most likely throughout the rest of this video, because there are techniques that I'm going to be doing that I don't want to get too deep into in this video. Um, that's why I made the other videos. <laughs> so without further delay, let's get into some Maynard. This first example is from Judith, A Perfect Circle. Crazy song, awesome vocals. I chose a live version to evaluate because it's easier to hear what he's doing. There's not as much production. So here's a little snippet. Never stray, never break, never choke on a lie. Now, when we're going into a phrase like this, there's so much to unpack that uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to just get the notes on some foundational level uh, and, and words, roughly. Never stray, never break, never choke on a lie is basically what he's doing. Now, he's also, he's, he's gravelly and gritty there at the beginning. There's this pent up thing going on. When we are doing that in a lower register like he's doing, we have to think up first. If we try to push, you know, if we try to start doing that, we'll hurt our voice instantaneously. That hurt. <laughs> but if we use the, the break mentality that I have shown you in other videos, and we, we try to think down on it, and we, we're doing that, where I'm going higher and I'm forcing my voice to break, and then centering in and living in that break, we can harness that grit without hurting ourselves. Never choke on a lie. Never choke on a lie. Never so we've got never, we've got never stray and never. He he goes down to this sort of whispery thing, and then he gets up on never, and then choke on a lie becomes choke on a lie. Really, really intense stuff, but the dynamics just packed into this one line is incredible. Never stray and never break, never choke on a lie! <laughs> and you can go crazy with it. And I recommend exaggerating things as you're trying to infuse them into your voice. Exaggerate them so that you um, are truly able to make it your own in your, in your singing. Next. Very aggressive. This is from Outsider, Perfect Circle. And he's lower. What I did to get it through to you, precious. What I did to get it through to you, precious. Now, he's not saying throw. What I did to get it through to you, which would be easier. He's, he's remaining closed there. What I did to get, what I did to get it, what I did, but... Maynard has this way of, he doesn't do this. What I didn't get it through. He's not doing that. He's, he's long. He's, he's uh, dropped in terms of larynx position. Oh, and you'll hear this in the next example too, but la, 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 as opposed to la, 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 la. That's part of what makes him so cool is he's got this mellow sound even in the midst of his aggression. So if we're dropped, what I did again, what I, what I did, we start there, what I did, what I did, and then think down, th yeah! get your, crack your voice a little bit, and come, what I did again, what I, what I did to get it through to you, precious, what I did to get it through to you, precious. Then we're going to be able to get there without hurting our voice and get that aggressive yet lower sounding chesty grit, which he's so good at. Now this, in contrast with the next little uh, phrase, this shows us his diversity and just the cool factor of Maynard in general. I just, I just love it. Disconnect, 
disconnect and self-destruct. Now, here he's got this worried, anxious sound that's so clean and aggressive in a completely different way. How's he getting there from the throw to you? How's he getting there from that? Well, we need to take a cue from his positioning first, uh, but his attitude, it's like this disconnect and self distra So some of the time when I'm pulling things from other vocalists, I like to picture how that line makes me feel first before I sing it. Disconnect and self-destruct. And don't worry so much about how I sound, but become the character of that line. And Maynard is is fabulous at this. This is why he's able to go from these ah! sort of things to these haunting melodies uh, that are, are calm yet anxious and aggressive at all at the same time. So with that in mind, though, let's think about disconnect and disconnect disconnect he's he's dropped disconnect not eh, no no not not bright his larynx position is low and he's using a little bit of the if you've seen some of my other videos the yawn disconnect this but not not doing this i'm i'm tensing there when I shouldn't be. Disconnect, disconnect, and self-destruct. Where you're pushing a ton from here, and you're using compression. Disconnect, and self-destruct. You're using compression to hold back air while pushing from here. And in the range that he's using, with the positioning he's using, he's able to get this uh, sort of tortured, clean sound. Now let me let me demonstrate a few other ways to sort of get there and how not to do it. First of all, disconnect, disconnect. Nope. Ooh, disconnect and start there. Just disconnect. And we're accessing a bit of clean mix here. Other things I've talked about in other videos. Disconnect and self-destruct. Don't worry about cracking and being sounding dumb. That's okay. Now hold back some air and start worrying. Disconnect, disconnect and self-destruct. The other thing he does is he'll cut off certain words. Disconnect and self-destruct. Disconnect and self-destruct. One. There it is. It's the attitude behind it with that clean positioning. Uh, so cool. Next. I will only complicate you. He is in his eerie, calm sounding voice at his best in this song, I think, in general. But this line, I will only hard on set on I. So there's a sense of aggression right at the beginning. I will only complicate you. But then there's this attentiveness to the notes, even though he's he's calm. He's got a very agile voice. Ah, able to move around and do a lot of articulation, even in lines that feel or seem simple when you're first listening to him. They're not when you start to sing one. This one is a perfect example of that. You, 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 I will only complicate you. There's two notes there. It's tempting to sing this. I will only complicate you. <laughs> kind of throw that last part away, but that totally, like, gets all the Maynard out of it. I will only complicate you, you. I will only complicate 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 you, you, you. It's difficult to do, but necessary when we're training our voice in these ways. He doesn't have quite the, the worried, the pent up worried sound here. It's also singing lower. He, when he's singing low like this, he's not using compression. He's letting the airflow pass freely. 
If we were to add compression here, we'd sound more like Scott Stapp. You know, I will only complicate you. 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 We don't want that. We want it to be this soft, I will only complicate you, with a little bit of worry attached to it. The other thing he likes to do is, he's, he's, he's not using vibrato per se. I as you hear it as vibrato, but there's this, I will, I will only complicate you. Oh, I will only, I, there's, there's these subtle flips that happen. Some on this one and, and a lot in other areas when you're listening to him quietly. Um, it, it's part of that worried, that calm, worried, uh, sort of thing that he does. I will only complicate you. It's not, I will only complicate you. <laughs> He's not doing that. It's, it's much more subtle than that. But if you are, if you're doing that just a little bit, um, to, to sort of get that idea and that feeling in your, in your uh, voice, uh, again, it's, it's this kind of cracking, uh, I will only complicate you. If you can get there and then dial it back to where that's, really just sort of the side note over here, you'll get a little closer to it. Let me get there for you. I will only, I, I, I will only complicate you. 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 I will not. I will only complicate you. Not that. Moving on. Now, this is the tail end of a very long scream. We're going to tackle it in three different passages here because there's really three different stages he goes through. They're subtle when you're listening to the recording, but unpacking these stages is going to help you do this same thing. So here's the end. And he just breaks down completely at the end there. Uh, here's the beginning. Now, starts with this, the ah, oh, there's the picture! So here's what we're gonna do for this long Maynard James scream, and this can be applied to really any aggressive long scream like this. We wanna first think about pitch, then we wanna think about breakup or grit, and then we wanna think about what I call fallout, the, the ending where everything just, you know, you've given all you have. Those are the three, pitch, breakup, and fallout. And as I demonstrate this and sort of get you there to this scream, you will, you'll get it. So here we go. So there's our pitch. <laughs> That's not how we want it to sound, but stay with me. So, so I'm using a clean mix. I want to get there clean first. So, so now. We're going to try to break with it. So I'm going to back off on my on my pushings to where I'm forced to kind of like that. Then I'm going to think higher on the note. So and you can hear me cracking a little bit as I dial that in, but that's because I am I'm backing off airflow. I'm letting my, my natural break or passaggio uh, play into effect there. And then I'm pushing back in. And then right as I got that push, I'm maintaining that pitch and living in there. But I can't stress enough how important it is to think above the note in positions like this. Ensure that you can discover your break in the midst of what you're doing here. If this doesn't make sense, two things again. Watch my aggressive singing video uh, and also join my free vocal course because I help you dial the foundational things in for this very type of singing. Here we go. Okay, so he's, he's in it. He's got his pitch. He's got his grit. So! Now at the very end there, I started to lose it. 
But that's that's because of two things. That's that's not oh I'm failing. I am starting to run out of air, which means by reaction I'm I feel like I'm pushing harder to try to maintain that intensity because I don't have the leverage by having as much air. But I am gradually starting to close my mouth and change that open vowel ah, to more of an E. What this is going to do is it's going to bring out the grit even more and help change the way I'm moderating my airflow to create that fallout where at the very end it just sounds like we've, we've just done everything possible. This is different than just pushing it for as long as you can until you run out of breath and then getting things positioned wrong and then hurting your voice at the very end of a scream, which we've all done. But this is how not to do that and still sound as cool or actually sound way better doing it. So let me take you through the, the progression again. So, 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 so. Those are going to be the three foundational stages that you want to think through as you're doing a scream like this. Don't let yourself just push and push and push when you're doing stuff like this. Think that way. And only go, don't, don't go for super long screams right away. You heard me do a longer one earlier and a shorter one now. It, it, what matters is that you're able to get the arc right when you're doing stuff like this. So really cool because he's moving around quite fast and also messing with the vowels on so and loud. Lao wow wow creates this nice other instrumentally kind of sound. So so that's not a so it's a, that mellow, sort of worried sound he's getting from that yawn, push, compression thing I talked about earlier. So, oh, so, 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 so. That articulation, it can be easy to start. So, so. No. So, so. So. Doing that, making sure that you've got your push and your compression and that you're so loud. That might sound cool for a minute, but you're going to burn yourself out. If, so if you're so if you're doing that, or as if you're doing the uh, so, uh, so notice how my neck is down. Uh, it's not like this. Uh, so, uh, so do that first and then reap the benefits. So He's using a lot of dynamics there. He's got that whispery thing going on at the end as well. So So cool. Bold and proud. This is a really good example of him just being soft no compression, relaxed, pure. And when you, when you put this in the context of the line that we just did, definitely the same voice, there's this sense that there's so much more aggression in the line we just did, even though the tone is similar. This is just softer. He's, he's really good at that. Managing dynamics, managing airflow, but it's more than that. It's it's uh, emotionally infused singing, and the other stuff is just accessory. Bold, bold, bold and proud. Nice open bold. You never hear him. Ah, bold, 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 bold. This right here would be a a very uh, sedated mix. He's not bold and bold, but he is kind of like you're singing in your car, you know, you're kind of muttering and you're, you're hitting all these notes or like you're doing a siren and you're going through your break. Bold and proud, bold and bold. There could be an argument there where I do feel like there's this 
this bit of head resonance. That, well, there's a lot of head resonance going on there, but I'm not breaking into it and out of it. I'm, I'm right on the edge, but I'm not, I'm using so little air that my voice box, at least from an audible perspective, you can't tell the difference. You're going in and out. And, and many of you have probably experienced this too, where when you're singing really softly, your break is easier to blend. That's what he's doing here. Bold, not bold, bold, bold. And you can even bold and proud. He's he's loud on the beginning of bold. Bold, bold and if I were to exaggerate this to help us, bold and proud. Bold and proud. Bold and proud. Here we go. Higher aggressive singing from Maynard. Far! We just want to get the note cleanly first. Far away from here. That's definitely a mix. A clean mix for me. Ah! Ah! Okay. Let's get there and let's say the words far away from here, far away from here. Now we want to access grit by becoming in tune with our break and managing our airflow like you've heard me do in other videos. But we want to think down on the note. We don't want to far away. We don't want to do that. We want to far away. We want to come down on it like that. I realize that still doesn't sound like what he's doing, but we'll get there. Far away, far away from here. Far away from here. Now, here with that E uh, vowel at the end, closing up and pushing more here. So we're using more compression at the end there creates this really uh, nice ending, this nice fallout. Still, I'm maintaining that dropped Maynard James Keenan. We're not far away from here. We're not doing that. This oh, far, far away from here, far away from here. He's got his vowels down too. He's not, he's capitalizing on that away. Far away from here. But among other things, one thing that's very evident in everything that Maynard James Keenan sings is that he has an insane amount of control and command over his voice, but he lets stuff happen. He lets the breakup happen. Much like you just heard me do, I'm adding aggression, compression, grit, all these little, little things that are going on. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm listening to how my voice feels. <laughs> and I am reacting in the moment based off of emotion and based off of feel, and then letting the sound happen as opposed to making the sound happen. I realize that's weird sounding to hear me say, but it really is a key when you are singing like this. I had a lot of fun with this video. I have a lot of fun with all these videos. Be sure to leave your comments below. I'd love to hear what you think about it. And this format is still fairly new. So uh, let me know if you have any other ideas as well. Again, if you want help dialing in your own voice, be sure to click the link below for my free vocal course. We'll see you for more.